Hello everybody. So, I missed Zoe's readathon, the read readathon by Zoe, and I am utterly disappointed. <laughs> Something came up and I couldn't do it, but I had planned to do it, and I had planned what books I was going to do, but I missed it, and I have decided that I'm still going to do a readathon, but kind of my own readathon inspired by Zoe. Good morning everyone, so it is at 12 o'clock on Tuesday the 12th of December, so that means that this readathon has officially begun. The books I plan to read are Charlotte's Web, Miss Peregrine's Home for Particular Children, Fire Spell. So I plan to take um, a couple of hour nap just to, you know, refresh because I'm shattered. I'm pretty much half awake now, so I'm gonna try and start Fly Spell and see what I get. It's currently about 7 30. Um, so last time I checked in, it was about 2 o'clock. <laughs> I read about 12 pages of Fly Spell before I was still shattered and fell asleep. So I plan today to try and finish this book the best I can and see how far that goes. So it is currently quarter past eight. I am really bad at this, aren't I? Um, I'm planning to read as much as I can for about an hour. See how the weather does because I need to go do some jobs outside and then I'll come back and read. Let's see how this actually turns out. We're at 20 past 8 now. I've got my book in my hand and Barclay's decided to perch up beside me while I read. It is now 10.16. I have my tea in my Gilmore Girls cup and I have my book beside me here and I'm going to try and do another reading sprint and read as much as I can. I am on currently chapter 5, so I'm going to try and at least get to chapter 10 before I update you all again. So it is 11.30 and I have reached chapter 14 of Fire Spell. Um, so I've got a fair way to go left. There's 50 chapters altogether in Fire Spell. Um, but at the moment, it's quite... It's a good book. It's about a girl named Clara and it's set in the 19th century. And um, all of Clara's siblings passed away because of um, Corolla. And she's the only child that survived in her family. And... Um, when this book takes place, it is her 12th birthday, and she requests that a puppeteer and his two orphan helpers put on a performance for her and her friends. That night, Clara disappears. At the moment, they're trying to find her, the police are all involved, and the two orphan kids that help the puppeteer, they've been accused of kidnapping, and then they are kind of trying to help find her as well. I will update you again soon. And I finally finished Fire Spell. Finally. Now that I have finished Fire Spell, the next book I am going to read is Charlotte's Web. A classic childhood book. It's currently 10 past 6 and I am about, I'm on page 65 of Charlotte's Web and a page behind chapter 10. So I just need a very quick, easy read. I got this little girl with me again. Snoozing. Chilling in the sun, snoozing while I'm reading. I've just had tea. I'm actually pretty happy with how much I've read today. We've got four hours left. 
until the refund's over. So I want to finish Charlotte's Weird and then move on to Mrs. Peregrine's Home for particular for peculiar children. Um, I think I caught up particular earlier when I was saying what books I'm going to be doing. It's peculiar, not particular. So it has just hit 8.30 and I have finished Charlotte's Web. The second book I have finished during this readathon. Such a great book about friendship. If you haven't read it before, definitely, definitely, definitely pick it up. You will not regret it. Read it. Love it. My next book that I'm going to read, as mentioned earlier, is Miss Peregrine's Home is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Okay, so it is 10.30 now. I am back in my pajamas and my onesie. I'm wearing monkey onesie. Is the wee hood. Um I just spent like two hours not reading, but chilling with my family um having a cup of tea but i have an hour and a half left of this readathon so i'm going to try and read as much of miss peregrine's home for peculiar children as i can i don't know how far through i will get because i don't know about you all but i tend to get really tired when i read um which is why from like to what was it like two o'clock this morning i read 12 pages before i fell back asleep um so here's hoping i can get through this i've tried reading a few times but it's never really um sparked anything with me so i'm gonna give it another go and hopefully this time it will ignite a flame it is now it's five o'clock on wednesday the 13th Once again, I have read quite a number of pages and words today. I am extremely proud of myself. I'll go through how many pages and what the books were and what I thought of them or when I'm not sleep deprived. So what is the next day after? The readathon. The first book I read was Fire Spell. It is about a girl named Clara who has her 12th birthday and asks if she can have this puppeteer come and perform at her party for her friends. And that night she goes missing, and the puppeteers, orphan helpers, are trying to find her. Very good book. Um, completed this one it was 384 pages then I read Charlotte's Web it is about a girl named Fern who saves this pig named Wilbur and Wilbur goes to Fern's uncle's pen and this spider called Charlotte tries to save Wilbur by writing words in a web and Wilbur then becomes famous Charlotte's Web was 184 pages, so that was a very short novel, great quick read after a longer book. And I started Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Um, I'm not too fond on this book, I did get 46 pages in, so I'm going to try and finish it at some point in December. Um, but it'll be more of a slower read for me. As I said, I got 46 pages through, so that was actually pretty good considering it was very close to 12 when I started. It was like 10 o'clock and reading in the evening makes quite a lot of people quite tired. I always get pretty exhausted when I read at night. Altogether, I read 614 pages. I'm extremely proud of that and thank you so much if you joined in. If you want me to do another one of these, let me know and follow my links in the description because more than likely on Twitter and probably on YouTube I will announce when I will do a readathon next and you guys can join me if you want to. And if you haven't seen my face before, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I post every Sunday and sometimes 
random videos throughout the week. See ya!